G'day guys, it's JB with JB Adventures. Welcome back to another weekly video. So last week we left you in Catherine and we've headed north since then. And if you can see behind me here, that is the ocean, which means we've made it into Darwin. We've currently just pulled up into Bicentennial Park, which is just next to the water here. It's also dog friendly, so it gives us a place to let the dogs out, let them run around a little bit, go to the toilet before we head on to our first attraction. So there is a bunch of things to do in Darwin. Uh, we're only here for a short time, unfortunately, so we're gonna try and show you the best bits as well as showing you some of the cheaper and free options to do in Darwin, especially if you've got kids like us and you want to keep them cool. And that brings me to the number one place we're going to take you to today, which is the wave pool. Let's check it out. Yeah, guys, a little bit of a change of plan. We took a detour and we headed to the precinct. It's just a little um, pub lounge bar. I know Bubsy's a bit hungry. So we're gonna sit here and have a feed and then head back out to those waves that you've seen before. You hungry, Bubby? So Mia, what did you think of lunch? <laughs> Where to, honey? End of the wave pool. Adjacent the Wave Lagoon, you have a little swimming area as well that is controlled by lifeguards.
spot, definitely check that one out. He's got a museum out the back there as well. There's a sign right at the front when you pull in and park. Just give him a toot and he'll come out. Heap of information, that dude's been doing this for about 32 years now up here. Catching crocodiles for like the last 20 and making wallets, key rings, you name it, he's got it. Couldn't help myself, picked myself up a little bit of a, uh, a stock whip. All made out of kangaroo skin, so you know it's good quality and it's built to last. The dude knows what he's talking about. Uh, it's about 40 degrees at the moment. And we're going to head out to Barry Springs, give the dogs a bit of a run around. Give them a bit of a dip and try and cool down a little bit. So, we'll get through this corrugation and we'll see you there. guys just pulled up at the Mindel markets we're gonna go check those out the bloke I bought my whip off earlier on in this video Mick he comes down to these markets and does a whip cracking show here at about seven o'clock tonight I don't think we're gonna be able to hang around late enough for the actual show but we will go check out his stall so you guys can have a look at some of the stuff that he's got for sale um, absolutely legend of a bloke man he's an outback legend so if you ever get up this way up to the Mindel markets or up to Darwin in general make sure you go check out his joint and his museum and then come check him out here doing the whip show um, we will leave a link in the description below too guys if you're not able to get up here he does have a website where he sells all his whips and all his leather goods so if you are interested in any of his stuff check the description below because we'll link his website down there for you just getting the babies and the pups sorted they're sitting down here in the shade oh sitting down is a bit of a stretch Kira's chewing a stick Maxie's found something to chew I don't know it's Max he always finds something to chew yeah, we'll get these guys sorted and then we'll head up into the markets and I'll see you there. you to the Mingle Markets on the beach and not show you the beach. Check it out. What a nice view. The beach is cool too.
much. Right here, guys. So the markets are a bit of a tough one. They can be as cheap or as expensive as you make it. Um, but all in all, it's free entry, so I'm still putting it on the cheap list. You come here, go for a walk around, grab a bite to eat, chill on the beach. Doesn't have to be too expensive, but if you do what we did and buy a bunch of Prezzies here at the market for everyone back home, the price can jump up a little bit. Unfortunately, Mick's stall isn't set up yet. He's not setting up until later on tonight when he gets into the whip cracking show. And unfortunately, the kids are starting to get a bit tired and restless. So we're going to make our way from here, go find a camp for the night. And I know what you're thinking, guys. We're up in Darwin and you didn't get to see any crocodiles. I was a bit disappointed too, but don't worry because next week's video is all about the crocs. And unfortunately, that brings an end to this week's video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you out there.